Okay, so this is how I usually record the drum track in GarageBand. So usually I have a track here for for the metronome because the metronome is very it's not too loud. So I usually make a separate track for the metronome. And what I usually do is that I record the uh, cowbell. Wait, there you go. And just record one measure. And then on the timing, put four notes so that it would align it and space them apart. Uh, space them evenly apart uh, and the one fourth note means it's a quarter note each space so it's one beat every hit and I just drag it like that along the the whole span of the track and that's what that is up there so how I usually record my drum is this. Of course I use my AV controller. That's record. do I would try and align it uh, at least 8 or 16th note so that everything would be accurate and then I play it and see that little imperfection there we need to fix so this one I'll just copy this one which is com command C and then paste it command V and that's the new note there and then and there's another one here and just move it around There's a missing note there, so same thing, you copy and paste it here. And let's play it again, let's see. Okay, it seems like one of the notes on the double tone. It's a little, one of the notes is a little bit soft, and I think it's this one. And see, the velocity is only 81, so you just put it up to whatever. Increase the velocity, that's like how hard it's hit. can add the symbols and pretty much do the same thing okay and same thing after that you just align it it's an 8 and let's play both of them together let's just listen to it the drum track there 
there you go. Let's listen listen to the whole thing. I usually make my jump tracks and for the drum rolls well usually let's see let me make one I just put something like that and I just edit edit the whole thing later where is it there it is Align it first. Oh, not that one. There you go. And you can change the velocity on this one. On the first couple of notes to be a little bit softer. So that the drum the drum roll would sound kinda realistic. There you go. You can add some thumbs there or whatever you want to do, and that's how I usually do my drum rolls. And I can add this one right here. Let me see. And sound good. And that's how I usually do my drums.